Chapter 20, Mastering Protocols and Delegates, Solution Movie 20.1. So currently, the right review scene in the iApps Review Project allows the user to select an app category and then displays the selected category on the right side of its table view row. So your mission is to change the online review scene to do the same. So let's open the iApps Review Project in Xcode. See, I've already got it open. And if I double click on the storyboard to zoom out, you can see these are the three scenes we're talking about. So let's run it. See how it currently looks. I select write a review. And notice under app category when I select this row, and I select an app category, when I go back, that category is displayed here. However, if I go to read online reviews and select an app category and go back, it isn't updated. So we need to make this scene work. So let's click stop and follow our instructions in the book. So our first step is in the online reviews view controller class, adopt the app category delegate protocol. So if we go back to the app category view controller, you can see we declared an app category delegate protocol. And there's a single method in that protocol where a app category entity is passed. And the name of the method is update app category. So we're going to adopt that protocol in the online reviews view controller. So I come here. The app category delegate. Now as soon as we do that we see a compiler error that says hey online reviews view controller doesn't conform to this protocol. Well that's because we haven't gotten around to it yet. So in our next step we'll do that. We implement the app category delegates. Remember it's got that single update app category method. So let's add the method first. Go down below here and the easiest way to do that is start typing the name of the method. And you can see it's already popping up in code completion. So I press return, and it's filled in the blanks for me. So let's see what this method is supposed to do. So our first step is we want to store the app category entity object's name in the detail text label dot text property. So here is this app category cell, and this outlet points to this cell. So I'm going to say self dot app category cell dot detail text label dot text. So I'm going to press return so the question mark for the optional property is automatically added for us. And we're going to set that text property of that label to app category entity and make sure you pick the one with a lowercase a because that's the one we're looking for here and we're looking for its dot name property. Alright so that's the first step for this method. Next we need to reload the table views data. Self dot table view dot reload data. So this method is automatically called go back to our storyboard. When a user selects a category from here, the method we just created is automatically called and the name of that category is stored in this detail text label. Let's see our next step. So in the view controllers prepare for segue method, add code that stores a reference to the originating view controller in the destination view controllers delegate property. So I go to prepare for segue. This is the destination view controller. So I can say AC view controller dot delegate equals self. So again, at runtime, when this app category row was tapped, before the segue is executed, that code we just added executes and it stores a reference 
So the online review controller, the originating view controller, stores a reference to itself in this view controller's delegate property, which is what makes the connection between the app category view controller and the online reviews view controller. So let's give it a try and see how it works. Select Read Online Reviews, click App Category, select Sports, and there we have it. We've implemented the protocol successfully.